Hello and happy Halloween America and the rest of the world. I'm here in Whitehorse in the Yukon to say a few things. I want to apologize for being a sexist, racist, misogynistic, entitled white man. Well, kind of orange man, actually. I've been a really big dick, maybe the biggest, the biggest dick. It's well documented, my fingers are huge. Anyway, I'm here because I'm turning over a new leaf and I want people to know a few things. You see, I'm here in Whitehorse, home of the gold rush, where my grandfather, such a great entrepreneur, came and he first sold dead horses to the hikers in the Chilkoot Trail, but then he also went and sold the pussy and gambling and booze. And now I just pay to grab the pussy. So it's really a progression, but it's not acceptable. It's not right because you see, I have a really hot daughter and I shouldn't think of her as hot because that's just not right. But I wasn't taught the way to treat people. I wasn't taught how to treat women. I want you to know that I'm the product of my heritage and so are you. You see, I didn't feel loved as a child, which is why I've acted like one and I've tried to bully everyone, my opponents, and that's why I am the way I am. Maybe you're like this too. You see, the people who try and use their power to control others, they're the ones who felt least in control. They're the ones who are not in control and so they use what they have to try and take from others. It's because they didn't feel loved as children. I know I didn't feel loved and that's why I've done things the way I have. I even told my son as a four-year-old not to trust anybody. He was here in Whitehorse just this summer shooting your animals. I want to announce that I, the Donald, am turning over a new leaf. See, I've been loving and forgiving myself. I've been feeling my emotions to completion. I've been I've been doing things like crying. Yes, the Donald, the Donald cries orange tears sometimes so that I can deal with these things that I've been carrying around inside me for so long. You should try it too. It's, it's so liberating to do these things. I've even had a heart to heart with Pence and my counselor and it's felt like chains have fallen off of me as if I knew what slavery was like. Sorry to all the black people for that, by the way. All of this inner work has really done wonders to break down that great wall that the Mexicans built around my heart. Just kidding, it wasn't the Mexicans, really. It was my subconscious trying to protect me from all the pain I feel inside. Are you, are you angry and depressed, blaming all the bad people for all the things that aren't going right inside. Maybe it's time for you to do some introspective work and start forgiving those who are messed up by those who came before them and their experiences. Cause that's all we can do is forgive and let go. You see the Donald has been doing things like practicing meditation and mindfulness and yoga. Heck, I even spent some time in the jungles doing ayahuasca with a legit shaman really cleared things up for me, man. While I was tripping balls in the jungle, I was sitting there and realized maybe I'm the way I am for the world to wake up. Maybe I'm the president at this time. Maybe I'm the person I am and maybe the person you are is so that I could be this, this person who shows the duality in this world and shows how crazy and messed up everything is so that people can start waking up and start seeing how beautiful life can be and how beautiful life is on this planet. And we can all wake up, wake up from this mass, mass delusion. I bet you're wondering why I would go to a shithole country like that, but really it was worth it. It was worth it. I would recommend it. The Donald is now making a pledge to love myself and show compassion to love myself and others 
and to vanquish all this pain and fear in my heart so that this world of pain and suffering can end. It's the only way I've come to that conclusion. I'm going to make America great again by starting with myself. That's how it's done. That's how it'll work for the Donald. That's how it'll work for you. I encourage you to do it today. Starting from within, that's how it's done. That's how you make a difference. If anyone tells you differently, it's fake news, okay? Don't believe them. You see, I'm the product of many generations of learning, and so are you. All this lies and guilt and shame and pain and anger and racism and sexism, it's all been used to control us. It's all been used to separate and divide us rather than bring us together. That's what these conservative politics do. They make people into enemies so that people can be controlled. There's a very few people at the top and they control everything. And by making everyone else into enemies, they don't make you see how you are connected and much more similar to others than you are to them. That's how they maintain control over the world, okay? Anyone who tells you otherwise, it's fake news. You see, people who aren't full of fear and pain, they can't be controlled. You can't tell them what to do. That's why there's so much fear and pain in the fake news, in the media agenda, okay? I wanna, I wanna confess that I, the Donald, have been using my words and my actions to control and manipulate and to make my policies go further and I'm, I'm turning over a new leaf, the Donald. You won't see any more of these words coming out of this orange mouth. Mark my words. This is, this is how I've been tricking you. You've been tricked. Trick or treat, they might say, because it's Halloween. Strategy works really well when you haven't done the work on yourself. It's a really clever strategy, the wisest strategy, maybe the best strategy. It's been used forever, but it won't work if you do the work on yourself and you're actually happy and could do fun things that some people might question, like stand here in front of a boat and make a video. You see, it's really easy to feel these negative, negative emotions when you're not connected to yourself when you're not connected to others, but when you realize we're all connected to each other, we're all in this together, that's when it becomes easy to let go of that stuff. And you are me and I am you. So let go. See, my generation, we weren't taught that emotions are the language of the soul. We weren't taught that you should feel them so that you know right from wrong, good from bad. We've been taught to suppress them and keep them inside. And that's how we've been controlled. And that's why so many people believe the lies, the lies that have come out of this orange mouth for so long. Well, I'm sick of it. It's over, okay? I'm not playing this game anymore. You see, when you're really in touch with reality and your emotions and you could speak to your intuition, you would know that the old Donald, the one not in this video, is not a, a strong man, but a very weak man, and not a rich man, but a very poor, poor man. I'm sorry that I've been using my power to convince you that my wealthy friends have your best interests in mind. Awareness, yes, awareness, and our interconnection, that'll set us free, that'll set you free. Thanks for watching. And if you liked this, you laughed, or you had a good time, you should definitely subscribe or share it and make a comment and let me know what you think, even if you'd support Trump and hate on this. There's a lot of wisdom that you can gain if you just have an open mind and an open heart. I love you. Goodbye.